So I think that when you talk about expectations, especially for marriage, yeah. hmm, they are in different parts. And depending on um, the season that you're in... Remember, you're married to me or I'm here. Yes, yes, yeah. and they oh, change. Yeah, yeah. So, for instance, my expectation of you when um, when we first got married, the first okay. year of marriage, okay. might be a bit different to when we started having Was children. It? Okay. Yes, of course. When we had the conversation, when we started having children, yeah. um, it was important to um, identify that, you know, the times we are in was going to change a little bit. Yeah. You know, the roles, I, what I expect of you, uh, you know, when I'm a bit sick from pregnancy, yeah. what I expect when yeah, the I went comes, to buy those books, Abby. You know, and yeah, read pregnancy up. Pregnancy for dummies. Yes, yeah. I read up to just I know. Did. And I read. <laughs> to just have an idea of what that what phase is, yeah. is going to be like yeah. and what you need to do to support and to be there and what you need to do. So can we go back to the expectation okay. bit? I think, first of all, knowing what you want is important. Yeah. Hey. When you're talking about expectation, knowing what you want, you have to state what you want. Yeah. And like you said, you have to be realistic. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I mean, for any lady, any Christian lady, I think the first expectation is that you get someone that is a child of God, a genuine yeah. child of God. Yeah, fair enough. It's important because but your people beliefs... Change, uh, but, yeah, people change, yeah, but, change. you know... When, when money comes in, they change. Yeah, but the the basics and the foundation should be, should be solid yeah. such that you don't compromise on certain things, no fair matter enough. what happens, no matter yeah. what the pressure is yeah, and yeah. all of that. Certain things still have to be, like... You know what? What did no you expect what. from me? So, of course, for you, I expect the some so my expectations Chris, as a child of God marked. You know, a family person, someone that understands family values and understands mm -hmm. what it is to you know to be caring, to to love, to, to was important. Someone that gives because it's important to marry someone that would watch your back, not to yeah. be counting the grain of rice and and then lock the bag in the in the, uh -huh. in the bedroom somewhere. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, like so, lock the storeroom. I'm, I'm one with the so key. Someone that was well, a okay. giver is okay. important to me. Hello, 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 hello. <laughs> Welcome to Confessions with PLA and his amazing wife. PTA, Parents Teachers Association. <laughs> Welcome back. Um, today we are talking about expectations and the place of work. Um, but you know, as we were here, we have to pray before we do anything. It will be short. <laughs> Father, we are grateful for giving us the opportunity to do this again. Thank you for this medium. And for everyone that is watching, if anyone needs a healing in your heart, let this... Just warm it up and heal them in Jesus' name. Amen. Let it heal us as well. And Amen. if there's anything we need to get off our chest so that our hearts will be lighter and we'll be able to breathe better, let us be able to do it, oh God. Amen. In Jesus' precious mighty name. Amen. 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 This is probably one of those uh, podcasts that people actually genuinely pray from the beginning. Um, People are wondering what kind of cap is this? You know, when you've traveled the world a little bit, mm. you have a little signature of everywhere you've been mm, to. Mm. This is an Afghan cap, and it's obviously worn in too many other places. Sometimes it doesn't fully cover your hair. Well, all this, all this might be the only size we saw in the store. Either way. Um, let's get into the conversation. Let's get into the conversation. Okay. <laughs> so, expectations at work. Mm -hmm. How do you deal? You're going to confess at the end of this, by the way. <laughs> so prepare your mind. I have all sorts I need to confess. Yes. But, you know, I'll give you one <laughs> thing to confess. And whatever I confess stays inside this. Nobody's allowed to post it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good work. <laughs> so expectations yeah, at, at work. work. Mm -hmm. So um, I remember when I was still trying to get your attention, um, chasing you all over the place, trying to look <laughs> for how I can improve your life. <laughs> <laughs> More like I improved yours. <laughs> actually, you did. We improved actually, each other. <laughs> actually, you did. Actually, you did. I won't even lie on that one. Um, but yeah, let me play. This is my, is my own scenario. I improved your life. Accept it. <laughs>
always waiting to yes. react rather mm. than to be proactive. So, mm. you know, um, I released my company car. I started working on food, uh, <laughs> filled it. I think it was maybe 60 naira per liter then for yeah. fuel or even less. Mm. Um, so that you could, you know, we prepared the CV mm. and then we mapped out all the different yeah, you companies. You were so sweet. Yeah, yeah. Extremely sweet, actually. <laughs> extremely sweet. Too sweet. It's yeah. okay. Okay. <laughs> Um, we mapped out all the major companies that you would want to work with, mm. even and then serve with before you finish the NYSE. For those who don't know the meaning of NYSE, Google it. <laughs> anyway, um, for youth core service. Yes, national youth core service. Now you you went um, to all these companies, and to your amazement, they were all actually shocked and mm. willing to actually take mm. you on. You've mm. not even done NYSE. Mm-hmm you've not even so which means they were even willing that from beginning mm. even with nyc they said they were going to write a request for mm. you to come and work in mm. their company and then of course hold retain you at the end mm. and employ you fully mm. because i've never seen mm. any student that just came out of uni about to do nyc do such a move mm. now fast forward 15 years later mm-hmm. you are now an employer yourself mm. big babe <laughs> with over 30 staff um, <laughs> me included. Yeah, I know that. Tell I cannot pay you. Ah, uh, confession. Please. She pay confession. <laughs> she pays me. She pays me salary. Believe it or not, she actually does pay me salary. Yeah. It's more like credit money. Yeah, hundred k. I'm not saying I'm hundred k new. Anyway, so okay. that's my own confession. By the way, I'm not confessing anything else again. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, what do you think people should go in with as an expectation? From a point of view of someone looking for a job, I mean, there's 200 million of us and counting, huge chunk of youths. A lot of people are looking for work. That's why there's kidnapping mm. and opportunity for people mm. to do all sorts. And this is a great nation for as little as possible. People are selling their bodies, selling mm. their souls, selling mm. their selves mm. uh, because of money. Mm. So- mm. 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 I mean, we have people in other nations that their governments are doing, treating them well enough that this is not an issue. Mm. Hence why you won't see anybody trying to... There's no point. I mean, what am I? How much are they Everybody, exactly. So, what do you think one should believe is one of... Or how do I get the expectations of my future employer? Okay, so I think that the place to start um, for someone that is that wants to be employed is mm-hmm. to build yourself. Okay. Um, build your skills. Um, you know, be obviously beyond education. There's certain life skills that one needs to be uh, like to what? be okay. So, for instance, in addition to your education, your character has to be good. Okay. Your integrity has to be top notch. True. Self confidence is important. Yeah. Um, your <laughs> I have ability. a story on that one. I have a story on that one. I have a story. There's a lady that we we're about yeah. to employ mm. um, through one of my aunties, uh, yeah. Connect. And they asked her to bring a guarantee, guarantor. a guarantor. Um, forgive me, because, you know, yeah. A guarantor, and then the the, the guarantor came in mm-hmm. as a mom, and at the end of the interview, because she's already passed, mm. there's just a, I think she will be seeing a, a huge amount of money daily mm. cash mm. flowing through her hands mm. back then before this mm. cashless policy came, um, and the mama said that uh, as in meaning, please let her you know excuse let her excuse us from. Mm. The place, the the mom that came with the lady mm. that was about to be employed, mm. Mm. and she just told my auntie point blank that we cannot employ a daughter. You can't mm. uh, employ. Mm. Be safe. Your money will be, be safe, safe in her hands. <laughs> Mm, so but so, yeah so you see that's that's the thing um it's not it doesn't stop with you getting an education okay. tertiary education it, you know you there are other things like i mentioned that you have to do so building yourself in terms of what you need to do yeah. the roles you have been employed for yeah. if you need to do additional courses get certifications this and that that will help you do better at your work mm-hmm. and i think one other thing <laughs> that is needed is you mm-hmm. having a conversation whether it's with your 
uh, employer to, yeah. to know what exactly is ah, expected uh-huh, of you. Uh-huh, you know, uh-huh. because sometimes you find that people apply for a certain role. People have skills of uh, maybe their CV has certain skills or yeah. personality. Some of the CV is not lie. People go and lie <laughs> on the CV. Exactly. They lie on the CV. Uh-huh. And what they can actually do is yeah. different. It's different. So there's a bit of uh, a gap there. So you need to have a conversation. That immediately they employ me now. Mm. They start paying me. But that one is a, a job that people do per day, per day, where they pick you up from the corner and you go and drop uh, work on one site and at the end they just pay you cash and you mm. go away. But people that are working in offices, mm. it is until 26, 27, 28, mm. maybe some companies do halfway through. Um, and then, of course, there's also still the period of... Um, of what you i'm trying to remember the name now mm. where probation yes yeah you know where they yes. make sure that oh okay is this person yeah, actually some, still okay? some companies or most companies i think what does pay. your company do how long is your own probation um it depends on the rule you are applying for oh, fair enough yeah so usually we have a, about a month period or beyond um some have ask six months long, up to six ask months. me how long my own probation was when our ccg yours? employed me it's supposed to be six months you don't say how long how long I'll pay you if you can guess. <laughs> just say, just to work say. as personal assistant for the general was here. One year, four months. I nice. don't know. Maybe they were praying that this guy must fail. <laughs> they were praying. Thank Even you I was feel. praying back, like, no, I won't fail. Hallelujah. I have an aerospace engineering uh, with management degree. Um, I also have engineering project management as a master's. Mm. And, you know, I brought all my CV. And then they, after that one, they packed it aside and asked me to submit my spiritual CV as well. Mm. So it's not just a physical CV. Wow. So thank God that I had, like, some sort of idea that that might happen. I went in there, three-piece suit, came back out <laughs> with singlet you, and Well, boxers. you say that, but I don't. I, I back out. no way. I, I, I removed, refuse to believe I that. I remove every, even not that this is a, you think I'm going for water baptism <laughs> afresh. I would have come out with only boxers. Loin cloth. <laughs> I don't believe Elijah that. Elijah levels. I don't believe that, but I get your point. So, yeah. One of the longest days of my life, mm-hmm. from 8 a.m. to maybe 9 p.m. or something. As even if I, I even if you're fasting, say you would have finished your fast energy. <laughs> but yeah, um, but you know, but one of the things I also then ask, you mm. know, to actually be honest, point blank, what do you, you know, mm. I have an idea of what mm. I believe your expectations mm. are, but you tell me mm-hmm. what you actually expect mm. from me from this role. Exactly. Um, and what I need to do because then you know they mention their own from the point of view of the church, the administrative side of the church. But they also mentioned that my boss will also have a completely different thing because it's a personal assistant role um, from what they believe. But at the end of the day, I'm their own agent Mm. and their staff, but I am in that office. Mm. Now, do you have any people, well, any people, any persons that you've employed that you regret employing? Uh, You know, um, sometimes people yeah of, of course from time to time we uh, as faith-based people we employ b- people based on sentiments yeah true. which is <laughs> another another conversation entirely yeah, another episode. yes you know you employ certain people you know just because you know them not necessarily because you've tested their skills yeah. and all of that um and then i'll come some, and shock you yes. let me ask you this one i'll be honest <laughs> yeah 
Will you employ someone that is going to your parish and your church? Yes, I would. But it just depends. The person would have to go through certain... Um, I don't know what that one yeah. slaps. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have a, a number of people that okay. we attend the same... But are you the cool same, with them? Um, you know, because now we are crossing offices and the boundaries, you know, they see you in church, you know, there's mm. a night VG and you people have a delivery and they want to come to the night VG, mm. especially now that you are the, uh, as Americans would say, the first lady of a particular parish or, you know, the pastor's wife and all of that stuff. Or the one really amazing young pastor like that. That is so cool. Um, <laughs> how, do, <laughs> how do you then cope with that? So you, you have to, so what I do, because like you said, a lot of people make that mistake to think because um, we attend the same with the same uh, um, organization yeah. somewhere else yeah. because we, you know, we we intertwine in other roles mm -hmm. elsewhere. Mm -hmm. So they just sort of mix up everything. Yeah. So I have those conversations to say, you know what, you cannot do this. This is your professional job. Deliver on this. Okay. This is the time you're supposed to be working. Do what you have to do. You can't turn up somewhere at 1 p.m. and say you're going for a service yeah. when you're supposed to be at work managing yeah, or doing something. Yeah. So I think the uh, from an employer, uh, as an employer to an employee is also you having this conversation, having rules laid down, having um, what you require that person to do. It's, so you know, since important. you you know you you are a boss, me I'm I'm working as a messenger for someone. <laughs> but sometimes mm. you know we come in this the the uh, employ, employment contract says nine to five or you know eight to four or whatever. But in most cases, it's never it's never that time. Yes, it's never for mm. for example in Nigeria. And I don't know anybody that is going to any office except if they are living in the city, like Redemption City or any other city, or well, depending on which city, um, that actually leaves home anything less than two or three hours against the time they are meant to get to work. Mm. So, um, for pilots, they count the time that you left home into your 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 whole work uh, of the day. But for some of us, we don't get closing hour. We only it's, have starting hour. So it's your type of job. You knew what you were getting into. Yeah, yeah, I uh, the love role. My job, I actually. think the role that you're applying for also matters. So someone applying for the role of like a personal assistant, you know that mm, it's, a, it's a personal Everything assistant. Is personal. It's quite personal. So Super. it means it might mean that sometimes until your boss is ready to release you then that's when you go what about or these creatives and all these social media people that the events is all over the yes, place yes uh, it's the job that they <laughs> some into sunday morning they miss church yes yeah, so it's the, it's the job they signed for i mean knowing the because obviously you can't drop the camera as a cameraman for an event that is going to be all an all-night event yeah, and say oh let the thing be recording, guys. I'm out. Yeah, you know, fair enough. you they have been. You again. Uh -huh. So, you have to understand those things. That's why some people refuse to do certain types of jobs yeah. because they want to have freedom in, you know, a certain type of Can I count it way. a blessing if my job involves me and I'm in huge contracts, but it involves me to uh, selling alcohol to other people <sighs> or working That's in the nightclub? Uh, it's part <laughs> of the expectations now. Hmm. That one is a, a whole different topic. I can't say, I can't come and give testimony in church that God just blessed me with, <laughs> with a new contract and is 100% And I'll be selling supplying alcohol. Al so alcohol, you see, that's, yeah. you see, that's another topic, Pastor Lickie, to be honest. And you know wheat. why? <laughs> the reason why is because um, this, the, the, the job that you do on a on a daily there are certain types of job that i would never do okay. why because of my faith and because of the level i am with god in my faith oh so it has to deal with levels certain yes. people never reach that level to know yes. that okay some people believe that as long as they're making their daily bread whatever kind of job they're going to do it except prostitution everything else goes or drug trafficking everything <laughs> else goes <laughs> So Can they, they yes, but but that's that, that's the thing. As God deals with you, and as you move up Should in your, your connection, second coming by yourself, 
you would realize. So some, so you are saying some Christians are slow. Why are you putting words in my mouth? I'm not saying some Christians are slow. Okay, in their growth. <laughs> I meant slow in their growth. But you cannot compare your own self to mm-hmm. somebody else. Fair so enough. that's the thing. You knowing yourself and you being um you being convicted of certain things yeah. and you willing to drop those things yeah. is extremely important okay. in the race and in the kind of job but once you that do you drop accept. It, do you believe that God would actually then sort you out? Oh yes. They- I've actually been through that old journey mm. and God has actually sorted them out. Anyway, mm. confession, confession, confessions. Because there has to be something you confess. That's why you're here. Mm-hmm. Confess something that you've not told anybody before. Mm. And it's going to stay in this room. <laughs> mm. what, what do I want to confess today? Okay. Um, okay, that I actually wanted to be an accountant. For real? Yeah. I wanted to be an accountant. <laughs> really? <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, I knew you wanted to work with one particular bank whose name I won't mention because they're not <laughs> no, sponsoring no. us. <laughs> no, no. But I actually wanted to study accounting for whatever reason and be an accountant. Shock me. Why don't you? You but knew guess, that, didn't I you? Did you actually. did. You I honestly do. didn't. I you thought you wanted do. to work for a bank for banking sakes. No, you do. Accountant. But it's okay. Let's leave that one. So what's all this mass communication for? What are we mass communicating to? <laughs> well, we're doing it now, aren't we? Well, hey, <laughs> hey, nice, nice. Okay. Mm-hmm. Also, all this cooking stuff and all that one. <laughs> yeah, it was a, as a side. It was as like a, a passion. Okay. It was a me. passion. Yeah, was all right. So your side also became your main also. Mm. And the accounting one just, you know. <laughs> <laughs> which is nice so yeah wow i didn't know that all right i don't have any confessions don't make me do any thank you very much <laughs> <laughs> goodbye everybody no it's not goodbye <laughs> to marry a brazilian babe ah wow <laughs> so what happened no it has to be a nigerian christian <laughs> Absolutely no issues with Brazilians. <laughs> um, funny because if you look at the world map, the the kind of shows like Brazil was kind of connected with Nigeria at some point before mm. the you know the head plates drifted millions and millions of years ago, and they have almost the same things we do and all of that stuff. But that was just it was just a, a weird thing. I don't know why. I honestly don't know why. From everywhere you could mm. pick. But yeah, maybe on, it was just a childhood fantasy of some sort. Ah, that's also a weird fantasy. Mm. I, I mean, I'll, I'll give it's you this okay. one. Don't this it's one is okay. free. No, this final confession is free. <laughs> final one is free. Mm-hmm. I actually wanted to be a sniper before a military sniper. Go for beat button. Why? It was why? the only thing. The only reason why. The only reason why I did not follow through is because Daddy Joe said I can't be winning souls and, and you, you are, are taking them, them out. Ah, thank you, Daddy. <laughs> if not that way, I'll, I need to. I'll <laughs> that, say, ah, <laughs> that one doesn't mean that I will still buy my guns. <laughs> 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 On that note, this is Oluwa Gwemileke Adibwe PLA Confessions with PLA mm-hmm. and uh, our time. Is out. See you on the next Thank one. You. Bye. Soon. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Nice one, buddy. Well done. Give me a pound. <laughs>